Welcome to another episode of Commercial Property Roadshow. You're here with Helen Tarrant and today I'm actually in Adelaide in South Australia and I want to talk to you about location risks, right? I'm just stopping here before my next inspection and we are going to go and see an, an office tower or a block of office spaces and then we're off to see another property but it's really interesting we talk about location risk and people don't really think about it because I'm just at one of the side streets and here we're gonna grab a coffee and we're gonna sit here before and have a look at the area and just see people as before we go and turn up to the inspection but the thing is you know we've got a school at the back here uh, we've got another office tower just behind me here uh, and uh, we've got lots and lots of industrial shops, uh, warehouses that's turned into coffee shops, um, barbers and co-working spaces and uh, we've got obviously this used to be a very industrial area, it's changing. So this actually, this area we're in Kent Town reminds me a little bit like Alexandria in Sydney. So it's interesting because it's very important for us to talk about location risk for your tenant. So let's talk about some tenants need to be where they are in order to grab the clients. And that's really important because they will never leave. But they may be in a property that is so specialized for them that it will be really hard to repurpose later on as well. But if you're looking at location risk, one of the few things we look at is firstly, what kind of location it is. What, how is your tenant stuck to that location? Why should they be in that location? Is it because they're getting uh, the similar trades? So if you look around, what we're seeing here is we're seeing similar car trades, we're seeing um, some fitness now coming into this area, so gentrifies, we're seeing more and we're seeing industrial, right? So asking ourselves the question that what ties your tenant here? And this is where we look at location risk. And this is one of the assessments that we do and we do discuss during uh, our due diligence is like can your tenants be elsewhere is it easy for them to move or is it they've got specialist equipment or they especially need a clientele so for example they need to be near the school right or for example they need to be near other tenants who are also doing similar things but one of your location risks is that if you are a property that for example has nowhere to park that may affect the kind of tenants you're going to affect in the future or that maybe you're on a side street or at the back of something then that becomes an issue because later on when you retain it if your tenant wants exposure it doesn't work it only works for destination type tenants that people actually come to you so you've got to think about what exactly appeals to your tenant from that location is it because the demographic is changing the demographic is gentrified and that's why your tenant wants to be there is there any risk for them uh, for you right for for demographics to change and their business becomes obsolete or is it any danger to you that because of where your property is and what are the restrictions coming to the area like say zoning changes or parking changes or just general demographic changes that's going to affect the tenant in the long term that they may have to move out and then you might have to find a different type of tenant we're just walking past a house here that's been converted into commercial and this is a chiropractor and we've got another tenant here which is a wealth advisory here and we're sort of now into more residential areas there's another commercial over there and we've got kids therapies got that bouldering place again and then we've got industrial so to an area like this I realized is how much the area has changed over time and that there is definitely more wealth and money coming into this area that it used to be a bit of an industrial area a bit dirty and rough and now it's coming out of that and that residential has been repurposed as commercial there's a higher social economic people coming through here I'm gonna look at there's probably gonna be loft apartments there's probably gonna be old warehouses repurposed or apartments it's probably going to be high rises coming through now if your property is on one of these side streets and let's say the the parking changes well how does it affect if your tenant like a physio like a chiropractor like a children's service will want to have uh, be able to have parking so that they can you know see their clients how does that affect that or do you have ample parking uh, that means that in the future you're always going to be a sought after uh, property that potentially you could become a medical center or potentially you could become more allied health because of the location of your property so then you make a call as whether that tenant is important to be in that premise for you and if they in the future don't want to pay the rent as the area changes because what we're seeing here in Kent Town is that the area is definitely gentrifying which means that the rents are going up and if you're seeing that if in the future maybe your tenants don't want to pay 
pay that? And if they don't want to pay that, can you easily swap them out for a new tenant? And these are some of the questions we ask about location risk. How at risk are you and your property for changes in the future? Now, we can't you know, always see what's happening, but to the best of our guesstimates, we can see how the area is gentrifying, how the area is changing. And that is important to know when we're looking to the future, what kind of tenants. And for example, we've got some car tenants there. So we've got some car tenants just along there. Uh, it's not great but one of the things you think out well next door to that the warehouse this old warehouse has been converted into you know a barber a, um, a co-working space and a cafe well if the current tenant leaves of the mechanic which may not be paying top dollar they might be paying base rent or lower rent then because of that location on that corner you could repurpose that it could become a gym it could be a crossfit it could be an f45 or they could actually be done up as really nice smick in industrial chic uh, warehouses with um, with office spaces in there that could attract a different type of professional tenant like I walk around here and I see there's accountants there's wealth advisors there is um, there's fitness but we're not seeing a legal firm here we haven't seen some of the upmarket uh, designer firms in here architectural engineering firms uh, maybe town planners we're not seeing any of those but that could really well go into a warehouse place which means that if you have a tenant that's unpaying under market rent because of your location and when they leave you could clean up obviously it's gonna cost some capital cost clean that up put a professional tenant really good nice for refurbishments yes it's gonna cost you some money but you're gonna put a new tenant in and the tenants may pay twice as much or at least 50% more than what your current tenant is paying or you can divvy up that place into two all of a sudden you've added 30, 40, 50% to the value of your property. And that's why buying something in this old area where it is gonna have capital costs, yes, uh, there's gonna be maintenance costs for forward, but you're looking at the back end for the upside. And it's something to assess, right? Doesn't mean it's always positive. There is, you know, always pros and cons in every location, in every area. And there's always pros and cons of whether you should be spending capital works or not. Uh, and what is really valuable when you're spending that capital works in a location. It's location specific as well. So that's one of the things to really assess when you're looking at risk. And one of the things that maybe when you look at a location to see access, to look at parking, to look at other versatility for other tenants, look at other tenant hubs, I like how that influences you in terms of the tenant mix, because that's gonna define you know, potential rents, and also not only potential rents, but also uh, how easy it is for you to get a like tenant. But on top of that, look at things like, uh, is it easy to repurpose that property? And also potentially looking at, is there a side street we've got to park? Is there a council parking? Uh, and how is the area taken care of? Or is it has to be a destination tenant? So these are some things to assess. Some of the risks maybe for you, some of the risks that needs to be avoided, or maybe for some people, it's something they really want to pick up on and they would pay uh, and get a lower yield because they know in the next five years that area is going to change and they would prefer that upside. Whatever it is, every commercial property deal is different. That's why I keep tuning into my channel Channel, don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and if you want a personalized strategy you want to know how to get started in commercial property check me out helentarrant.com and I look forward to helping you in your commercial property journey bye for now don't forget to tune in though for our other risk and if you haven't seen the other risk go back and watch my three parts before this and next time I'm going to take you to the next risk in commercial property and it's going to help you demystify commercial property until next time keep hunting